Hello everybody, this is Tab again with Legends in Our Free Time, and this is another look at Dungeon Defenders. This time I'm on the Throne Room on Insane Difficulty, and this is another map with uh, two crystals. And it has an interesting layout. Um, it only has three, three entrances or uh, access ways or paths to the crystals, and... Um, well, let's take a look. They give you quite, quite a bit of mana um, at the beginning, so I'm gonna go ahead and take take use of that. When you set up your defenses, remember not to overlap too much on the, uh, the dark energies that exist at the uh, doors. Uh, there's no really no real point to doing so. So uh, they'll just be attacking sooner than they could, and it'll put your towers uh, really close to a dangerous point because they'll have less time to kill enemies. And um, like a lot of maps, um, the first wave is actually kind of a more dangerous sticky position because as you can see there's quite a few difficult uh, opponents for just one one tower. But uh, remember to keep uh, keep summoning towers, you know, during the wave. They do give you the time for a reason I guess. The Deadly Strikers uh, actually serve a couple purposes. Um, one, they shoot from really far away and it's a long hallway. I swear they were made for this map, or maps like this. And uh, the second purpose, of course, is that they hit really hard and that they'll be useful on ogres and the boss. And yes, there is a boss, if you know, you've never played the game before. Um, and he can be rather tricky, so hopefully he doesn't give us any problems. Pretty sure that's all the uh, the setup required for my apprentice. Uh, I have a, quite a few ores I'd like to place on my monk, but uh, more than enough ready for the next wave. Uh, at this point, nothing should be getting through your your waves um, and any main doors. Um, if they are, you're probably gonna have problems later on. I don't want to worry too much about it yet, so... Ironically, there aren't a lot of enemies that come down this um, big driveway in here.
Now, if you look at this uh, this particular bubble, um, it sucks. So I'm gonna go ahead and move it forward. Remember, they all, um, even though it may not look like it, um, the people from this door actually have to go down these stairs right here. So they'll walk towards the center regardless. For all other uh, choke points. I want to use uh, in snare wise. That one could have been placed closer to the door. Jerks. So yeah, the, uh, the Ensnare Wars obviously slow down the guys that are walking towards the, uh, the towers here, but you shouldn't have too much of a problem with this lower drive lane, even though the, uh, the ores do cover the sides, so and that should be about done. Oh, no, I lied. One more thing. I'm gonna go ahead and start it and uh, grab the matter from the chest later. Really, the, the, most of the upgrades right now are just uh, just because we can. Um, if you're finding these levels a little bit more difficult than I do, obviously take your time and upgrade your towers you know, whenever you get the mana. But I am kind of upgrading these guys haphazardly. Their first order. Looking forward to them. Ogres in this level are definitely uh, hazardous to one's defenses, but there are a few things you could do differently, uh, such as always put up a strength train on either side since they only have it on the other side for the boss. Um, but additionally, uh, perhaps covering the lane a little bit better, I think. I think I, I did place these guys a little facing this door, because I've, I've had problems where these guys were shooting people over here because they're closer to the crystal, but I really needed them to shoot the guys coming from this door, and yeah, eventually got crazy. They actually destroyed the towers up here.
Hmm. That fireball tower was pretty hurt. I wonder if uh, those two ogres and I just forgot about them. I want to say that there was. In any in any event, uh, obviously the defenses will go pretty fair, pretty well. Um, so I'm not really too worried about anyone having too much problem. Um, just in order to keep a closer eye than I do on your, uh, your levels. As with all the bosses, the uh, the prick still spawns regular wave guys, and it lasts forever until you kill the boss. Let's take a look. Couldn't uh, deduce from the video when the boss is when the boss spins, his back hatch opens and he takes increased damage and he kills him. Um, don't stand in front of missiles; they hurt. Um, but I don't think you guys need any help with that. Frankly, the only reason it was so easy is because I have uh, such good, uh, such a good weapon, and he's really a pain in the ass. He's a lot harder than he looks. Um, but make sure you only attack him during the, uh, or for the most part, during that one phase. So, um, yeah, that is the throne room, and as you can see, it's it's another easy map with another good setup. Um, it can be, it can, ha it does have difficulty. Um, don't underestimate it. Uh, particularly, these choke points can prove to be uh, quite fearsome. So, I'll see you on the next map, and uh, hope you enjoyed this one.